Hello everyone, in this video we are going to write equation of a line of the form y equals mx plus b or this is otherwise called the slope intercept form because we're given the slope and the intercept given a table of values. So pretty much like if we go back to this equation that we have here, the m here is representing the slope of the line and then the b here is the y intercept y-intercept means it is um, a point where the line crosses the y-axis. In, um, in simple terms, we have here this equation can be represented as this. So our m is representing the growth factor and our b is the y value when x is zero. Again, they're pretty much the same thing. M stands for the slope or the growth factor. The B is the y-intercept or the y-value when x is zero. Now let's go over this first example that we have here. So the first thing that we're going to do is to determine how much does it grow by. So in this problem that we have here, from seven it goes to 10, so that means it's adding three each time. So if we add three each time here, that would give us the next value. So pretty much like 16 plus three is 19 and 19 plus three is 22. So each time it was adding three. So this is our growth factor. How much does it grow by? This is our M, which is the slope. Again, growth factor and slope are just the same thing. So this M is three. And then we have here the B is the value when the x is zero. So we'll look for the x value that's zero and we'll look for the y. So that's a zero and seven. So that means that our b is seven. So then we can go ahead and just plug this value into the equation. So only the m and the b will be uh, replaced with this value. So I'm going to go ahead and write y equals our m is three. Then I write the x plus the b is seven. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the uh, problem here. So pretty much the same thing. We are going to determine how much does it grow by. So we are going to figure out what number was either added or subtracted. So from 17 to 15, we're actually subtracting two. That's 15 minus two is 13. 13 minus two is 11. 11 minus two is nine. Nine minus two is seven. So pretty much our growth factor or our slope is negative two. So this is negative two is the M. And then the B is the starting point or pretty much like the Y value when X is zero. So we'll look for the X that is zero and we'll look for the Y value of it. So in this problem that we have here, we got 17. So then our equation here is Y equals, we write the, again, we write the M first, negative two, and then we have an X. And then our B is seven, so I go 17, so I go ahead and write plus 17. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to this next example that we have here. So I'm gonna put the equation that we have um, used from the first two example in the previous slide. So we're gonna go over this problem here. So first, again, we look for the growth factor. So as you can see here, this, figure that we have for, I mean, each of the numbers here are added with five. So that would be a plus five, plus five, plus five, plus five, and plus five. So our M is five. So I'm going to write five over here. Now, again, remember that the uh, uh, Y intercept is the Y value when the X is zero. So we're going to look for the x that is zero and it's right here. So we're, I'm gonna circle this. This is the number that we're gonna use to find for b and that is actually negative three because remember b is the y value. What is that value of y when the x is zero? That's a negative three. So that means in this um, table that we have here, the equation that would work for this is y equals, remember we have that write the m first, our M was five, so I go ahead and write five X, and then the B is a negative three, so that's five X minus three. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own, and when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. 
Okay, so we go over the problem here. So pretty much the same thing, this problem right here, uh, we are actually subtracting seven each time. So 30 minus seven is 23, 23 minus seven is 16, 16 minus seven is nine. So pretty much each of them, um, each of these numbers that we have here are being subtracted by seven. So that means that our B is negative seven. And then, I mean the M, the slope, the M is negative seven. And then we'll look for the B. Remember the B is the Y value when X is zero. So we'll look for the X value that is, I mean, uh, when we'll look for the value of X that is zero is right here. So we can circle this. So it's actually nine as our Y intercept. So then the equation here is Y equals negative seven X plus nine. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next problem right here. So we have here this um, next set of problems. I'm gonna write, I mean, I'm gonna put the equation up here because we're gonna use that to write the equation that will work for this table. So let's start with the first one. Again, we determine how much does it grow by. So we figure out was, what was it added or subtracted each time. So from five to nine, we're adding four. So we're adding four each time. So as you can see in each of the um, problems here, we're adding four. So 21 plus four is 25. So then our M or the slope is four. Now, we'll look for the uh, value of x that is zero. So as you can see here, it's not even there, but we can figure it out by, uh, as you can see from six all the way to one. So then we can go ahead and add another um, uh, column right here. I can put a zero. Now what's going on here is from 25, we go backwards. So if going to the right is adding four, that means we uh, if we go backwards, we're subtracting four. So that means this value is one. So that means if we add four, so if we have a one right there and we add, we still have to do plus four because each one is, is growing by four. So one plus four is five, five plus four is nine and so on. So this is our value that this this is the value that we need in order that we can come up with our y intercept remember the y intercept is the y value when x is zero it's not given in the table but we can figure it out by doing it backwards so in this problem right here our b is one so then the equation that we can come up for this would be y equals again we set it up like this so y equals our m is four then we write the x and then that's a plus one. So the equation is y equals four x plus one. This time I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So first we are going to determine again, how much does it grow by? So in this problem right here from, um, negative four, it turned out to be negative nine. So that means it's subtracted by five each time. So negative four minus five is negative nine. Negative nine minus five is negative 14. So each time it's subtracted by five. So our slope is negative five. Now our B, same thing as this problem right here, there's no uh, X that is zero, but we can add another column right here. We can have this as zero, then we go backwards. So since we have here a minus five, then we go backwards, it's gonna be plus five. So pretty much the number that we have here should have been one, so that if, you, if we are going to um, subtract five from one, so one minus five is a negative four. So then our B here is the value of Y when X is zero. So I can circle this one out. So our B is a positive one. So then the equation here would come out to be Y equals negative five X. And then we have here plus one. So this is the equation of this table right here. The importance of coming up with an equation given a table is that we can make predictions on the value of y whenever we get a value of x. For example, if I were to determine what is the y if our x is 35. So if x is 35, I can just go ahead and plug it in here. So that would be y is equal to four times our x was 35. So I put that in here. So four times 35 plus one, and then we go ahead and multiply these two. So four times 35, 
35 is 140 plus 1 would be 141. So I can go ahead and say um, at 30, if x is 35, then our y is 141. Same thing for this one right here. So if we were asked to determine the value of y when x is 100, so all I, all I do is just plug in the um, x value, which is 100 over here. So 100 times negative 5 is negative 500, plus 1 is negative 499. So that's how we can use the equation in order to predict the numbers that we can have, whatever that number for x is, whatever that value for x is, we can always predict the value of y by using the equation. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.